What's up ladies and dudes? Hey, my name is Pastor Joshua. And I am so thrilled that you're at church. Hey, if you and I haven't met yet, today, before you leave, make sure you come and give me a high five. Awesome, super cool. Well, hey, I'm super excited for today because we're starting a brand new series. This series is called Rebuild. Hey, check this out. Hey, this is my office right here, and behind me is my awesome, huge wall. They're called Funko Pops. Check them out. Aren't they so cool? Funko Pops. On my wall of Funko Pops, uh, these are some of the toys that I collect because I love toys, and I'm sure that you guys love toys too. And in fact, some of my favorite toys, here, check this out, they're right over here. Okay, ready? These are so cool. These right here are a lot of my Batman toys. A lot of them are cars and vehicles that I got. But this one right here, check this one out. This one was made by our good buddy, Ryder Wooten. Yeah, shout out to you, Ryder, it's pretty sweet. He made this all by himself out of Legos with no plans, and then he gave it to me. How sweet and how nice is that? Good, good for you, Ryder. Awesome, super sweet Lego set, check it out. Batman, very cool. Here, check out this Lego set too. Hey, this one right here, this one is called Slave One. It's a Star Wars Lego set that I got when I was just a kid, and I've had it for a long time. Now, this is a very special set to me because this guy inside of here from Star Wars, his name is Boba Fett. He's one of my favorite characters from Star Wars, but also, it's just a really fun toy that I've had since I was a kid. You know, I loved playing with Legos uh, ever since I was a little boy. Legos are so much fun. I love building them. They're incredible. And uh, the fun thing about Legos is that you can constantly make whatever you want to make. The bad thing about Legos is that they can easily break. In fact, my daughter Chloe likes to come and play with my toys. She's turning three today. And sometimes she even plays with my Legos. And what sometimes happens is she drops them and they break. And so what I have to do is constantly rebuild my Legos. And that's what our series is all about. Rebuild. You see, God can rebuild the bad things that have broken in our lives. And during our series, this whole entire month of September, we're going to be talking about a guy named Nehemiah and how God used this guy to rebuild an entire wall of a city. And by doing so, he helped lead tons of people closer to Jesus. Hey, this right here is our big idea. It's the whole point of what we're talking about today, both in small groups and in large group. When your mom and dad ask you, what'd you learn at church today? This is what you tell them. This is the big idea, the whole point of our lesson for today. Are you ready? It's this. Nehemiah had compassion. That's right, Nehemiah, the guy we're gonna be learning about from the Bible, had this wonderful thing called compassion. Compassion is when we really care about other people. Hey, can we say the big idea all together? Ready, on the count of three, let's say it together. One, two, three. Nehemiah had compassion. Nice. Now, quick, turn to a person next to you, find a partner. I'm gonna give you three seconds to find a partner. Ready, one, two, three. Okay, great. Look at your partner and say, hey you, Nehemiah had compassion. <laughs> Great, awesome. Now turn to the next person, somebody else next to you, or somebody behind you, somebody in front of you. Turn to somebody else. Got it? All right, now say to them, hey you, Nehemiah had compassion. Nice, now give them a high five. Great job, great job. <sighs> I'm writing on my hoverboard, and uh, as we're doing that, I wanna tell you guys about compassion, what this word means, because it's a big word, and it means a lot of crazy stuff. And so here's what compassion means. Compassion means to care. You just care. So for example, let's say you're walking down the street, and all of a sudden you see this poor, sad, hurt puppy. Now, what emotion would you feel? Go ahead, tell the person next to you. What emotion would you feel if you saw a puppy that was feeling sick and had a broken leg? Oh, and it looked a little dirty. Oh, and a poor little puppy. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Would you feel sad? Did you tell your friend that you would feel sad? Yeah, of course you would. And that right there, that emotion is called 
compassion. It's when we begin to feel bad or sorry or, or kind of like uh, afraid for somebody. That's what compassion is all about. Now let's pretend that you saw this baby in real life. Tell me, how does this make you feel? <laughs> like I want to do something I want to help this baby feel better I want to do something that will make this baby feel better of course you would and that's what's called compassion this feeling that we have to help other people in the book of Nehemiah is this incredible story about a guy who had great compassion for his people now Nehemiah was a super awesome guy in that he was the king's cupbearer and Nehemiah heard about the sad things that were happening back in his hometown and we're going to explore more of that today in large group oh it is so exciting but today our big idea is Nehemiah had compassion and God wants us to have compassion as well and so today as you leave grow a heart of compassion care for people have a desire to help other people no matter what it looks like no matter what's going on in your life because God created us to care about people and to help them however we can. All right, adios.